do you sometimes feel inadequate because you have the same Sega Dreamcast VMU memory card as everyone else, the boring grayish white one? It's like you're a sheep following the herd when you have one of these because everyone else has one. But now you, you don't have to be that sheep. You can be the sheep that has the blue Sega Dreamcast visual memory unit. Be the sheep that everyone wants to hang out with. Look at all of the things that you can do with the blue visual memory unit. It's more than a memory card after all. Complete with its own LCD screen and controller buttons, the VMU can play self-contained VMU games. Wow. It can also display secret info during Dreamcast gameplay. It actually makes fun of you when you're not looking. You can download and modify characters from Dreamcast games. Has, has anyone ever done that? Anyone? I haven't. Trade files with other VMUs. Well, that, that almost makes sense. And save Dreamcast game files. The only useful thing that this does is the last item on the list. Note that the packaging has a hook so that it can hang on a rack. I shun my standard old white Dreamcast VMU card in favor of this new one. Let's open the packaging. Whoa! Holy crap, that's blue-tastic! The blue practically jumps out of the plastic and grabs your eyeballs. I don't know, that's... that's kind of suspect, don't you think? It doesn't say what happens when you pull it. Is it going to explode? Does it... does it turn red? I don't know. I guess... I guess we'll find out on camera, so... Hopefully this is not the last classic game room. If it is... Oh, sh If it is, oh sh I thought for sure that was going to explode. Okay, uh, it's the year 2000, 1998, 1997, 19, ooh, how far back does this go? 1889, year of the Johnstown flood. We'll, we'll go with that. Another important feature of the blue visual memory unit is this protection device up here because you wouldn't want to damage your blue visual memory unit. Remember to take off the protective armor plating before you try to actually use this. And here we're going to insert it into the Dreamcast controller. The color of the memory card doesn't make any difference. What's important is that I now have more room to save game files so that I can play lots of games. Like that one. Ducks. Because they're still releasing Sega Dreamcast games. 
That's how awesome this thing is. It just won't die. Now we're in the Sega Dreamcast menu. How much space do I have on my new memory card? 200 free blocks. So much, what do I do with it all? If you play a lot of Sega Dreamcast games, it's helpful to have multiple memory cards because they actually don't hold all that much. So uh, why not buy them in different colors? That way you know which one is which just by looking at them. It's time to reset the clock to prepare for the Robotron invasion in the year 2084. The blue Dreamcast visual memory unit. Would it be different if it were red? I don't know.